Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play an old song by ACDC called Back in Black. And it starts with an E major chord. And the way you play E major, first finger is going to go G on the first fret, second finger is going to go the A on the second fret, and the third finger goes the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E major chord. And the way the opening lick starts is we're going to do a big E and kind of kill the string. So we got down, and then kind of a kill it thing. So we got E major, E major. And then from there, we're going to go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to the high E on the second fret. And the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And on the D, you just kind of strum just the top four strings. That makes your D major and it sounds really, really happy. But in the song, we're going to go down, up, down on that chord and kill it. So we're going to have down, up, down, down, up, down, kill it, down, up, down, kill it. And then from there, we're going to an A major chord. And the way you play A major, First finger is going to the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G on the 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the B on the 2nd fret, and if you strum all those together, that makes an A major chord, it sounds really, really happy. And then in the song, we're going to be doing a down up down and killing it, just like the D. So we got down up down, 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 kill it, down up down, kill it, down up down, kill it, down up down, kill it. So we put those three chords together, like for, for the song, and this is our verse all the way through. So we got E major with the down and kill it, we got D with the down up down, kill it, a with the down, up, down, kill it. And that's kind of our chord part of the intro, but then right after that part, I, I, well, let's, yeah, let's try that again. So you got E major, D major, A major, and then there are two licks right after that that we're kind of alternating between. And the first lick goes third fret on the high E, on the skinny E, and you play that note, and then do a pull off to just the open E string. And then we're gonna go to the B string and do third fret, and do a pull off to, to, to the open string and then from there we're going to the G string on the second fret and doing a bend and then pull it off to the open G so you got three pull off three pull off two bend pull off it's kind of that lick that, that happens right after the E D A so we got E D A and then our lick But then on the second time through, there's another lick that turns up where we go 7th fret on the low E, and then we go to 4th fret on the low E, and then we go to 7th fret on the low E, and then 5th fret on the low E, and then 7th fret on the low E, and then 6th fret on the low E, and then we play 7th fret on the low E twice, and then kind of on the second one, we kind of do a slide down and nothing to kind of set ourselves back up for you. So all together on the second lick, you got 7, 4, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 7. So that's kind of our, our verse through the entire song is, is, is that very first lick. But then from there, when we get to our chorus part, we're, we're using some pieces of the chords we just talked about. Um, and these are some things called power chords, or at least on the very first part of the chorus, where instead of playing the entire A major, we're just going to play just the A string and the D string of that. And that's called an A5 power chord, if you just do the A and the D string together. And then, if you feel like it, you could do the whole A if you wanted to. But in the, in the recording, I think it's just the A5. And then we go to the E major, and we're going to be playing the low two strings on the E major, just the E and A, to get an E5 power chord. So we've got oh, A5, E5. But then, from there, we're going to be going to a B5 power chord. And the way you play B5, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the D on the fourth fret. And if you play just the A and the D strings together, that sounds a B5 and it sounds really, really powerful and that's why we call it a power chord. And basically your verse is just kind of going from the A5 to the E5 to a B5 and then an A5 and then B5. part of the chorus kind of uses the uh, G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger to the high E on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. 
and then for G major we're going to the D major chord, and then we're going to an A major chord, but then there's a lick where you go low E on the third fret and do a bend there, and then you go back to the A major. So the second part of our verse we go G D A third fret on low E bend A major G major D major A major. back to the other part of the course where we have the A5, E5, B5, A5, B5, A5, E5, B5, A5, B5, and then at the end of the course we're going to go to G major and do a G major which is two, two downs, and then we go to D major with three downs. Down, down, down. So just to try that whole chorus part together, you got A5, E5, B5, A5, 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 B5, B5, G major, D major, A major, third from low E bend, A major, G major, D major, A major, third from low E bend, third and then A. But then we go back to A5, B5, B5, A5, B5, A5, B5, B5, A5, B5. B5, 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 A5, B5. But then we go to G major for G major and then D major. So one more time on that you got. verse and our chorus kind of come back, but then we end up on, on a solo part that sort of resembles our, our, our verse, where we got the E major with a down, and then D major with a down, up, down, and then A major with a down, up, down, but then we go back to E major and go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So down, up, down, 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 down. and if you kind of hang on the low strings on that part, it'll sound really good, like even thinking the E5 on that. One other thing you might want to try and do is if you take the right hand, like just the side of the right hand, and kind of lay it down on top of the strings, then you can kind of get a muted quality out of that, where, where, where instead of it sounding so open, like you'd end up with the E5 with the... Which sometimes can, can sound a little bit more like the tune. You can even try that through that whole part, actually. Uh, you could do the muting with like the E major with the down, D major with the down, A major with the down, E major with the... Down up, down, down up, down, down up, and then E major, D major, A major. But then the second time through, you do the E with a down up, but then you go to A with a down, E with a down, and then A with a down. So the second time on the through on that slow, you got E with down up, A, E, A, E with down up, A, E, A, and then you're alternating between those. So you got E, D, A. breakdown part that comes in where we got some more licks where we're going to go second fret on the D string and kind of play that note and then do a pull off to the open D and then we're going to go fourth fret to second fret pull off on the A and then we go back to fourth fret on the A and then third fret on the low E and then fourth fret on the A and then fourth fret on low E and then fourth fret on the A and then open A and then fourth fret on the A and then second fret on the A. So we got two pull off on the D, and then four two pull off on the A, and then four on the A, third fret on low E, four on the A, fourth fret on low E, fourth fret on the A, open A, and then fourth on the A, second fret on the A. moves up by a fourth or by one string on the guitar. So there's a lick that comes in right after that that's kind of around a D instead of an A, 
where we go G string on the second fret to do a pull off to open, and then we go to D string for a four two pull off, and then play four on that D, and then third fret on the A, and then four on the D, and then four on the A, and then four on the D, and then open D, and then four on the D, and then second fret on the D. So it's exactly the same lick, we just moved it by a string. So then you got the D string pull off to kind of start it. But then we go back to our chorus part at the end of that where we go to the A, E, B, A, B, A, E, B, A, B, G, D, A, third fret on low E, Ben, A, G, D, A, third fret, Ben, A, A, E, B, A, B, A, E. part kind of come back for our outro we got the E D A E down 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 E D A E A E A E so that's kind of our outro at the end well those are basically the, the licks that you need to kind of play back in black by ACDC so good luck <laughs>